All right then gang, so we have open our device over here, which is showing the current content inside app.js, this stuff right here. And what I'm gonna do in this video is just talk about some of the basic components that we get out of the box in React Native. In particular, the view right here and the text component, and also style sheets as well, because we can use styles in React to control how our different components look on the screen. So first of all, let me close this file explorer so we have a bit more room and let's play around with these things. So notice, first of all, at the very top, we import React. We need that because we're using React. And then below that, we import a few different things from React Native. We import style sheet and then these two components, text and view. So the view component, first of all, right here, this is a bit like a div component in HTML. We use it to wrap other elements as we would in HTML with a div, right? So right here, we're using this view to wrap this text component. Now we use text components every time we want to output a bit of text. So like this right here, we can't do that without a text component. So if I just came up here and said, hello, then this is not gonna be valid. And if I click save and it tries to refresh, then we should probably get some kind of error. You see text strings must be rendered within a text component. So we can't do that. Every time we want to output text, it needs to be within this component right here, the text one. Okay, so let me save that again so we get rid of the error. And they are the basic two components that we're going to use a lot in this series. Now we can do quite a lot with these. They're quite simple, but we can do quite a lot. And a lot of that is thanks to this style prop right here that we can add to both of these components. And a lot of different components in React Native, we can add this style prop to. And this is our way of allowing us to style these different components. So, you know, like in HTML, we'd add a class attribute and set it equal to, you know, container or content or header or something. And then we could style that in CSS by using a selector that would grab that class using a dot like container or content. And then inside we'd set our different CSS properties, right? We do something very similar in React Native. Now, obviously React Native doesn't use CSS. It just emulates the idea of CSS, right? Because at the end of the day, iOS and Android devices, they do not support CSS. So what React Native does is kind of emulate the idea of CSS, something we're kind of more familiar with. And then it takes all of those different properties and converts it into a way that Android and iOS understands in order to style our different components on the screen. So the effect is the same, essentially. So we do this by using this style prop right here, and then we set it equal to some kind of object. And that object is gonna contain different CSS properties, essentially. Okay, so this object right here is styles.container. Now we define styles down here, it's a constant, and that is equal to style sheet, which we import up here. Then we use a method on that called create. So we invoke that method and we pass in an object into that method. And that object represents the kind of style sheet that we're gonna use. And inside that object, we have different key value pairs. So this looks very much like a CSS rule. We have what is essentially a select on the left and then all of the rules inside an object on the right. And we can define as many different key value pairs inside this style sheet right here as we want. At the minute, we just have one, which is the container. And that is what is being assigned up here. So all of these different properties, which are essentially CSS properties, are being applied to this view. We have a flex of one, a background color of white, a line item center, justify content center. And all of those styles are being applied now to this view, which is why we see in the center over here, we have a background color of white, etc. Okay. So now we know the basics of that. Let's try to expand this and add our own content. So I'm going to get rid of that dude in the middle text. And instead I'm going to nest another view inside here. And we can do that. We can nest views within views, text within text, etc. Very similar to how HTML works, right? We can nest div within divs. So we're nesting this view inside this one. And here we're gonna have a style prop, which is equal to styles dots. And we'll create a new style called header. So down here, let's say header, and this will be an object. And inside we'll just say the background color is gonna be pink. And then we'll also say the padding is gonna be 
20. Now at the minute it's not going to look like much of a header. It's going to be a pink square probably in the middle, but this will look better later on. Inside the view, let's do a text widget. And this text is going to say, hello world. Very original, right? And we'll also apply a style prop to this. And that is going to be styles dot bold text. So let's create that style down here, bold text. And this is just going to say font weight will be bold. OK, now notice one difference here, by the way, between this and CSS. In CSS, we hyphen these double barrel names like background color like that. In React Native, we don't do that. We use camel case. OK, so we have font weight of bold now, and that should be outputting this text in bold over here. So if we save, we should see that. OK, hello world. So now beneath this view, not inside it, let's do another view. And this time it's going to have a style of styles dot body. So let's create that down here, body. And inside we're going to say background color is going to be yellow. And then beneath that we'll say padding is going to be 20. So this is pixels, by the way, 20 pixels. If we save that, we should see the second view down here in yellow. Cool. So now we just need some text inside that as well. And to do that, we need a text widget. And all I'm going to do is write some lorem ipsum. So lorem ipsum delore, I think it is, sit and met. OK, whatever. And let's copy that and do it a few times. Copy, paste, paste and save it. And we should see some text inside this view now as well. OK, cool. So now hopefully you can see the idea of using these different views and these different text components, as well as some different styles to output content onto the screen how we want to. Now, I know this doesn't look great at the minute and I'm not trying to win any design awards. I'm just trying to show you how we can use these different components in combination with styles down here. Now, I want to show you one more thing, and that is if I add some kind of style to this, then we don't automatically inherit it inside a text component, right? So styles are not automatically inherited like they are in CSS. And I'll demo that. If I go to body and if I say font weight is going to be bold, then it's not going to display as bold text inside the body, even though these text components are inside this view component. If I want to do that, I have to add it on directly, much like we did over here. So this idea of inheritance doesn't really work in most cases in React Native. There is one exception to that rule, and that is text widgets within text widgets. So say, for example, I did a text widget right here with a style equal to bold text. So styles dot bold text. And then inside this, I did another text widget like so, and just said test inside here. Now this right here, this text component would inherit these styles. So when we have a text component inside a text component, the child text component inherits the parent text component styles, but we don't inherit from anything else. So a view cannot pass down to a text. It's only text within text. So if I save this now, we should see this whole line of text in bold, including this test word right here. OK, so there we go. That's the basics of how to use these core components in React Native. And in the next video, we're going to take this one step further and I'm going to show you how to output dynamic content by using state.